the coming AI financial crash. Today, we got a lot to talk about. We're gonna go over what this entails, how to prepare yourself, and how you can actually get rich on the coming changes that are going to happen with AI. This is one you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to, so make sure you smash that like button because we're gonna dive in and we're gonna go through literally everything. I printed out tons of notes. We got lots of PDFs and opinions to go through on what is actually happening. Now, when we went through, we were going and looking at the different news reports that were going on. We had Steve Forbes, CEO, said AI is the Y2K crisis, only this time it's real. And so we're looking at this stuff, and here's Julian Goldie from Julian Goldie SEO talking about failures in the Google search. And we've seen that Google has been shaken to the core this year, where they're talking about AI content, what's good, what's bad, what can you use, what's going to happen? Is AI going to replace the way we search? Because after all, there's over 8 billion searches done every single day on Google. Yes, that's about 99,000 searches every single second. That's a lot of searches. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dive in and look at this. Forbes is saying that Goldman Sachs predicts 300 million jobs will be lost or degraded because of artificial intelligence. And a lot of this stuff looks like utter doom and gloom. And a lot of people might be saying, well, Marcus, this year has gone by fast. It's over a year since ChatGPT came out, and I don't know what to do. I feel like I might be getting left behind in the AI race. And if you feel like that, smash a like button and let me know in the comments below, because we are gonna go through and we're gonna get you up to speed on what it takes to actually turn a profit. We're gonna talk about the downturns, the upturns, and trends that you're gonna notice online. I've been doing this business for about 23 years now, and I've learned a lot of things. And one thing I've learned is that gloom and doom and bad news sells. So you're gonna see a lot of hype, you're gonna see a lot of junk. But today, we're gonna get to the truth of what you need to know. Now, as we look even further, we could see all the different things that are going on. My prediction is that the internet was full of content before and after AI, it's full of even more content. I don't know about you, but searching around on YouTube, trying to find video ideas, I have noticed AI channels popping up like crazy. And a lot of them have really junky or poor information and nothing really that good. So what we know for a fact is that AI content is showing up everywhere. But the big question is, is it gonna last? Is this truly the way to profit. And we're gonna show you that right now. So we can see that a lot of shakeups have happened. We've seen Reddit gain in search engine rankings. We've seen lots of sites lose search engine rankings. Some huge news outlets have completely gotten their traffic obliterated by the Google helpful content update. And the questions are, is blogging dead? A lot of videos I watched in preparation for this were saying blogging is dead. Hang up your coat. Blogging is out, Google's taken over everything with AI and Reddit. And we gotta look at this and understand exactly what's going on. Because when things change, there's a small window of opportunity, a gap, where people paying attention can put a lot of money in their pocket. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is how to find that gap. How many of you guys are ready for that gap and you wanna know, and you're like, wait a minute, I'm in it. Smash that like button if you're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the data here. All right, we see here AI will be at the center of the next financial crisis. That's like from the SEC chair himself. We also have Meta. AI scientists reportedly warned Mark Zuckerberg that Facebook and Instagram could go extinct we're talking like dinosaur catastrophic extinct if they don't catch up with AI. So even the top billionaires are being warned of this. We can also see different social media static, uh, statistics and different things going on. Another one is the rise of chat GPT generated content, the rise of AI generated content. How do we detect this? How do we know what's real, what is fake? We're gonna see a lot of things happen now that there's video AI, cloning AI, and all different things like this where it's really difficult to know if there's actually someone talking. Is this actually me here 
on the webinar in this fancy suit. More about that in just a minute. We can also see that the data overview, this is something I really wanted to look at in a real way because we were looking at data reportal and they are showing the 2022 global overview report and the 2023. And what we're doing is we're comparing what happened then and what's happening now. This is super important because when we look at these statistics, we're seeing an amount of content grow and grow and grow in a way that is unprecedented and like nothing you've ever seen. So what does this mean for us? Does this mean you're gonna be left by the wayside and only the people who know how to get search engine rankings are gonna make this stuff work? Well, not exactly. And we got a lot of notes here that we're gonna go through and we're gonna talk about in just a second. And I want you to pay close attention because what we're gonna talk about today is super, super important. And some of the stuff that I have been teaching you over the years and months or however long you've been following me is going to poise you to be successful in 2024. Now, a lot of people are gonna look at 2024 and, and they're gonna look back and say, what happened? Maybe I lost my savings. Maybe I wasn't able to invest. Maybe I missed this whole AI boat like I did in 2023. How many of you guys feel like this year came by so fast? AI was going so quick. I mean, there was literally like a tool every day or three tools every day for those paying attention where AI came out. It's like, I, I can't even keep up. Right, and I do this for a living. I probably have the worst case of ADHD in the world, and I still couldn't keep up with those rapid changes. And we need to look at this and say, how are we going to stay focused? And I'm gonna give you one little tip before we dive in even more, and I'm gonna talk to you about how to stay focused. And the way to stay focused is one thing well. All right, we're gonna focus on one thing and we're gonna do it well and we're not going to get distracted. This is super important because so many people online are, are showing you different directions and different ways to go and it's, it's taking your attention and every time you take your attention and you divide it up, what's happening is the slices of the pie are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I'll never forget a story that I learned early on in business. Back when I was about 20 years old, I was trying to start a business, this business. I, I think it did pretty well. What do you think? And I was trying to start this business and I had a friend who was in the automotive industry. And this guy, we were pitching an idea to this guy and if he bought on it, it probably would have gone really well. But since nobody bid on it, I went on to do something else and I haven't talked to that guy in years. But at any rate, we were talking to this guy and I was new to business. I didn't understand concepts. I read a couple of books, but I was kind of winging it. And he said to me, he's like, hey, wait a minute. Would you rather have a giant piece of a small pie or a sliver of a big pie? And what happens is this sliver actually ends up being more money, even though people get funny and they're like, well, you know, Marcus, I'd rather have the whole thing. I need to own it for my ego purposes. For me, I don't really care. I mean, we look at it and it's like, okay, how much of Amazon does Jeff Bezos actually own? Like less than 20%. And yet he's got money to like put planes on top of yachts and probably put them on a spaceship and go to the moon, all of the above. And we look at that and we're like, okay, well, what did he do? He got a small piece of a gigantic pie. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to understand that we can't dilute our, our attention. Trying to focus on all this stuff is gonna get you distracted and it's not gonna make you anything. Trying to focus on, hey, I'm gonna do one little thing and I'm gonna do it right. And that one little thing is gonna be a small slice of a giant pie. And that's what we're gonna look at here because the times they are a change in. And when we look at AI and we look at all this stuff, we see that things are changing rapidly. Now, I mentioned this in a previous video and someone kind of put an interesting comment about it. And I was talking about how the SEO industry is a trillion dollar industry. Because when you look at this, you have to look at people searching Google leads to so many things and so much money that it's not even funny. If we were to go over here and go to SpyFu, okay, we're gonna take a look at SpyFu right like this. And we are going to take a look at something like plumber. Okay, if you have a local plumber, all right, this, let me, 
Come on in here, let me show you the magnitude of what we're talking about. Because a lot of people think that when you search Google, you're just looking something up on Google, and Google's like this great, wonderful resource of information, and it's free, and it's great, but somehow, they get hundreds of billions of dollars. A lot of people think, oh well, Amazon came out and they just opened a store and magically it got rich, although a lot of people don't realize Amazon was built on the back of Google searches. If there was no Google, I dare say there probably wouldn't be an Amazon, unless there was some other search engine, in which case they would have used that. So, bear with me a second and look at this. Very important. All right, apparently we triggered something with the camera to zoom in on me. That was pretty cool, but I didn't, now I gotta stand way back here. We'll see if we can fix it here. Let's see, where did our, our button go? Bear with me one second. Gotta love the AI robot cameraman. There we go. That's nice and pretty. All good. All right, so when we look at this, we look at plumber, right? And we're gonna go and we would look at um, something like plumber, okay? So I'll go to Google and we'll type in plumber, plumber. I gotta sound it out, that's a, that's a weird word, okay? So if we were to look at plumber in Google, we're gonna see um, sponsored results, we're gonna see some more sponsored results, a map, and some information about plumbers. Now a lot of people think, oh well, you know, this is just some plumbers trying to get some business, no big deal. What does this have to do with AI? What does it have to do with the changes happening online? And how is this going to make me rich? Well, let's take a look here. If we were to go to SpyFu and type something in like plumber, we're gonna see that the average cost per click is $15. So let's map this out and let's show it in a real world way, okay? So if the average click is 15 bucks, all right, let's get this here. So the average click is $15 for the word plumber, all right? Now, on that plumber, we have to look and say, well, what does an average plumber charge? Every time they look at my house, even if they just drive by and look at my house, somehow magically I get a bill, and it's usually in the range of like 300 to $500, okay? That's pretty expensive. So what the plumber is doing is he's taking this and saying, well, if I get 20 people at 15 bucks, that's gonna be $300, which means I can break even to get a new customer. Now, what is that customer worth over time, right? It might be worth, you know, 3,000, or maybe you redo your bathroom, and maybe you do 10,000, or whatever it is. So what they're doing is they're looking at this and saying, okay, we are gonna play the odds. Now, usually what it looks like is one out of 10, if they know what they're doing, they can close those. So what's happening is this little $15 by Google is turning into this giant money. All right, this is where we get that SEO is a trillion dollar industry because there are so many people doing so many things and they're plumbers, you got uh, termite people, you got stores, you got all kinds of stuff. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to get in front of them because there's gonna be a gap in the marketplace. In 2024, there is going to be the other people gap. The other people gap is going to be the people that are complaining about loss of search rankings and the people that know how to fix it. This is going to be a huge industry. There's gonna be a lot of money for those paying attention. Also, we're gonna talk about how to do this on your own, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to know. Now, looking at this, we need to understand, okay, this is great, but again, how does it work? How do we go from a plumber to like, okay, here's some content here by Yelp, Reliance Plumber, Shamrocks and all these other ones, Orlando Dash Plumbing Services and you know all these other ones. Okay, where does it go and why? Why would Wikipedia show up for plumber? Right, that's a $15 click. I, I don't think, like I really don't think the intent of looking up plumber is like, what is a plumber? I don't think so, okay? This is another thing we're gonna look at where with the shakeup, as I've seen over the last 23 years, Google always gets something wrong. There's always something where there's, there's room for improvement, there's something wrong, there's always things that slip through the cracks. And as we saw this year with AI, if you were paying attention or not paying attention, we saw that lots of people got extremely wealthy in very short periods, 
periods of time based on this. They found a gap, they exploited it. Now, was it ethical? Was it good white hat SEO? No, but did it make people rich? It did. So we have to look at it and say, well, for me, what, what are my ethics? What do I want to do? And how can I do this in a way that, that does really good stuff? So what we're seeing, AI is definitely going to be a big thing. When we look at what AI can do, it is astronomical, like tax accountants, Get ready because AI can do tax accounting better than most accountants. So, you know, maybe the bookkeeper might be worried about a job. Writing, a lot of writers are worried about their jobs because AI is doing really, really good. A lot of people who do data entry or research or different things like that. For example, at the beginning of the year, I had three people on staff taking notes for me from these videos, so for these videos. And now I had one person and AI, and this was a really heavy note video. Like we went through a lot of stuff to create this. And so we're looking at that and saying, okay, now I can get that with one people, which means two people are out of a job. So this is what we're seeing here. There is a fear, there is a worry that things are changing. If you were to look at the Twitter landscape, right? Um, here we're talking about SEO and AI. Google is releasing uh, different platforms. They push back one of their platforms to next year. Microsoft, early on this year, dumped $10 billion into OpenAI. And we're looking at all these different things, and a lot of people are worried about what are the changes, what is going to happen. A lot of people are saying, hey, my rankings are dropping, the search conf console is, is shaken up. Things are happening to this trillion dollar industry. How many of you guys want to be on the winning side of this industry? Type winning side and smash that like button. And, and let's go over what are the changes going to look like. Now, again, when we look at some of these sites, okay, yes, new Bing Copilot is coming soon. We are going to have a demo on that. Um, because I did get, it was a pain in the neck, but I did get uh, access to their enterprise um, a AI co-pilot stuff. Uh, we're reviewing it. We will have a video on that uh, coming up very soon. Now, what we're seeing here is people like this guy says, AI could cause catastrophic financial crisis. Catastrophic. We are still like, I don't know how to act that word out. Maybe we need to make the camera like zoom in or something. There we go, catastrophic. Um, there, hey, that's pretty cool. I got the AI camera, man. There you go. What are you going to do, right? Um, and we look at that. We're like, okay, this is pretty cool. We are looking at that. Now I got to find the, uh, the thing to make it not zoom in. Where did that program go? Let's see. I think it's over on this screen. It's on one of these screens somewhere, but we will, we will find it uh, later on. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stand back or something. But what we're seeing is um, this stuff is really, really making a big change, right? And so we're looking at this here. Where did my camera go? Hold on one second. We're going to find this thing, and we will fix it here. I know it is over here under O. Come on, robot camera. I don't know. Maybe it zooms out if you do that. Maybe like that. I don't know. Oop, now it's following me. Okay. Does it follow me now? Okay, let's see here. We're going to go over here. Bear with our tech difficulties. Okay. Come on. Where'd it go? I know it's over here somewhere. Over here. There it is. Okay, cool. All right. Now, boop. Okay, we're going to put this smart camera thing over here. That way, if I trigger it, we will be able to fix it. All right, how many of you guys enjoying this? Smash that like button if you're enjoying it. So here we have uh, this catastrophic financial crisis. He's talking about testing, sa safety testing, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of things about plagiarism, uh, different stuff like that. AI-induced financial crisis. Uh, AI will be at the center of the next crisis. They're talking about... Um, different papers, trading algorithms. Um, when we get into trading algorithms, who knows what AI is gonna do? Like, this is all new, so we have to look at that. Uh, we also have, can artificial intelligence prevent the next financial crisis? Well, we shall see. Um, a lot of stuff there where we're using AI to do predictive modeling, which is really good. Financial institutions are forecast to double their spending on AI. Double their spending, which they probably already did, but financial institutions 
that's interesting. Like your bank is gonna invest in AI? All right, well, my question would be what for? Interesting, okay? Uh, and when these companies start, others are gonna follow suit. Uh, how to prevent AI from provoking the next crisis, economic business impacts of artificial intelligence. Um, Elon Musk is saying that uh, he's warning of AI triggering all kinds of crazy stuff. Mass unemployment, this is a big fear. Right, a lot of people are afraid. How many of you guys right now are afraid that AI might take your job? You're like, hey, I do this, this task and AI might take it. Just like in the old days when people would do factory stuff and all of a sudden some magical you know, uh, AI bot came in and, and took that over. Uh, just like if you were to look at videos of the Amazon store, right, where they do the Amazon shipping, you're gonna see, hey, it's all done by robot. Like that took out a lot of $15 an hour jobs and a lot of $20 an hour jobs and things like that. And what's gonna happen when the trucking industry goes AI? And we're looking at this and saying, okay, this is looking pretty crazy. What are we gonna do? Okay, what are we gonna do here? Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. How many of you guys are like, yes, I, I, I see that there is change happening. I see that there's a huge, huge shift, much like in the, in the days where you know, we had a Yellow Pages book and then all of a sudden the internet came out and there's this multiple trillion dollar industry just shaken to the core and now money's being shifted, right? Again, this is important. A lot of people are gonna talk to you about making money and getting money and money disappearing, right? In the 2008 financial crisis, they talked about money disappearing as if it just, you know, as if the money just went, I don't know if I could still do a magic trick, but if the money just went nowhere, right? But the fact is, money doesn't go nowhere, it just changes hands. And if you want to get money, we need to understand exactly how this works, because it's about to change hands, and we want to keep that in our hand. And we're going to talk about how to get that. So, what we're seeing here is that there is a lot of stuff going on when it comes to AI. Now, we are seeing that the internet is a huge moneymaker. I mean, you can't really debate this. This is like 2024. The internet makes a lot of money. I don't think anyone argues with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what we need to do. All right, if you are a blogger, if you're out there and you're blogging or you're an influencer or whatever it is, all right, good, the magic trick went over good. If you are a blogger or influencer, what you need to do is you need to diversify, all right? Stop relying on one traffic source. Build a blog, build a mailing list, right? Mailing list building will keep you going. A lot of people have said, oh, it's the death of email marketing. Oh my gosh, email marketing's been around for 23 years. I've made actually more than that. Um, I've been doing it for 23 years. I've made millions of dollars on mailing list marketing and what it does is it provides you an audience that's always there. Again, remember how we talked about people are willing to pay $15 for some clicks. If I can generate clicks on demand using my mailing list, well then I'm kind of insulated against whatever changes happen. Which means when I diversify, I can go out there and I can do something that would work really, really quick. Case in point, last year, I didn't know much about AI. I will tell you, AI kind of blindsided me. I didn't see it coming. I saw Jasper and I was like, yeah, I tested it out back in the early days and I was like, okay, this, yeah, it's not very good. Now it's gotten better. I haven't tested it recently, but back then that was my take on AI. And December 2022 rolled around and everyone started talking about ChatGPT. I went into my little backyard office and I said, I better do a video on how to make money with ChatGPT. And the video took off. Right, what was that? Well, that was me diversifying. I made a video, drove people back to the mailing list, and even though that video isn't doing that great now, that drove over 600,000 people to my websites, my blogs, and my mailing list, which allows me to market to them again. Some of you guys might be watching this today because you watched that video last year. Very important. So if we can do list building, all right, that's a big deal. A lot of social media people are gonna need to keep up with the trends because the algorithms are gonna change. All this stuff is going to change. AI is going to get smart and what these companies are doing, like Facebook and Instagram, is they are trying to predict what you want to consume, because let's face it, it's a little evil, but 
This is the goal of these companies, all right? You got Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. The goal of these companies is right like this. We're gonna try to draw this, okay? All right, screen. The goal of these companies is to get you to watch the screen as much as possible. Why? Because that makes them money. Plain and simple. The longer you're on YouTube, the more money YouTube makes. The more you search Google, the more money Google makes. The more you're addicted to Facebook and all the interesting stuff that's on Facebook, the more money Facebook is going to make. So when we see this, they want you to look at the screen a lot. Now when AI comes in, okay, they already have some models that are, that are doing this and it's only going to get bigger. What AI is doing is it's saying, how do we feed this person what it wants? And to give you guys an idea of this, if you've ever researched a topic and watched a video, you might wonder why YouTube shows you 50 other videos in this topic. Okay, what they're doing is they're trying to predict what you want to watch, predict what is going to keep you there. Okay, very important. Now, when AI comes in, the algorithms are going to change. When the algorithms change, lots of people lose lots of money. And there's an old adage in business that says when business is good, you ought to advertise. When business is bad, you've got to advertise. So what does all this mean? Marcus, there's a lot of talk here. You know, people need to see things, they need to click ads, Google's big, AI is huge. What does all this mean? Well, what this means is there is now a huge, huge opportunity. And this is an opportunity that I am taking advantage of right now as you're watching this. And that opportunity is to diversify, to build a mailing list, to add a human element to AI. This is what is going to get weeded out. The people that are just using AI, posting it as is, without any interaction to try to game the search engine, to get some traffic, to make some money with spam, that's gonna go away. Plain and simple, Google has said it, other people have alluded to it, it is the fact, this is what we are seeing, okay? So if we can add a human element, right? Maybe a, a persona, maybe a human review, maybe something that you know about, okay? Also, another thing, we need to adapt. We need to be able to roll with the punches. Watch what Google does, find what's happening and be able to act fast. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, Marcus, I don't know how to act fast. What am I gonna do? Well, what you're gonna do is you are going to use AI to act fast. You are gonna go out there and you are going to find the gaps and I'm gonna show you. All you gotta do is smash that like button, follow me and watch my videos throughout 2024 and the rest of 2023, and I guarantee you are gonna learn a lot of good stuff. We have a lot of people here in the audience who have tried snippets of the things I have taught and have made money. If you're there, feel free to share that you've made money from some things that I've taught. I know we had some people that made money on Black Friday with a very small thing that I taught, and that is an example of spotting the gaps. How can I spot gaps online? Whether it's a trend, whether it's creating something of value that I can give away to build a mailing list to sell other stuff and promote other things, or whatever it is, okay? Another one is we need to stay vigilant. And it doesn't mean you have to like check your computer every five minutes like I do. It means we wanna stay on top of things. Now, with AI, there's going to be two trends. One, for apps that will do this for you, right? You can go out there and watch my video on RSS feeds, pair it with AI, it works. People make money with it, I make money with it. Another thing you can do is using AI to stay on top of these and follow the news and look at things. Just this morning, I was able to look at, you know, 50 different websites, get notes from them in a split second using the Google Bing tool. Very simple. This is something I couldn't do before, but now I'm able to stay on top of this in a simple way. And when you look at it, again, we are talking about, okay, I don't need to parse the entire internet of all the information. 
That's kind of what Google does. So what I can do is find something small and focus on that and direct it right there. Do one thing well. Whether you're like Matt, who's doing his drones, expert in the drones, use AI to figure it out. Go out there and find places where you can tackle onto this. Are there AI drones? Are there different softwares and tools? What is there that we can do? Whether you're in that niche, whether you're going into a niche of finding coupons, AI can find coupons like crazy. AI can find this stuff for you. And I think what is missing is a lot of people don't understand the power of what AI does. Okay, it's been around a year. And for me, I'm pretty much dumbfounded by how powerful this is. Now, a lot of people are, oh, well, you know, it just writes 100 articles on a bunch of BS topics and yay. That's not the strong suit. And if you're focusing on the wrong thing, you're gonna build content, you might make a little bit of money, maybe you'll make a bunch of money, but it's going to phase out. And again, it's all about bucking the system. What we want to do is we want to focus and look at this and say, what can I do? How can I have this help me with what I need to accomplish. And when we look at this, it's like, okay, I can make this happen again with the other people gap. How can I watch AI and maybe help plumbers or help uh, limousine company owners or local businesses or even broad businesses? Very important. Another thing we're gonna look out for, which is going to be on Friday's video, Friday or Monday, depending on my timing, um, is prompt engineering jobs. If you were to go to Google right now and search for prompt engineering jobs, you are gonna see they're paying anywhere from like 100 grand to 300 grand to 500 grand a year or more for prompt engineering AI development type jobs. Now, some of these entry level jobs, you don't really need that many skills or experience because hey, there's a very few people that have a lot of experience with AI because it hasn't been around that long. But if we understand that, wait a minute, it's about searching differently. It's about understanding what's going on in the marketplace and how to use it. Just like a couple weeks ago, or I think it was last week, I did a video about how to search Google different. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you paid attention to that video, but over the last 23 years, of making money online, I can say there's one thing that I know that has made me the money. All right, am I a good video editor? Maybe, I don't know, not really. Takes me forever and I can't stand doing it. Um, am I a great content writer? No, I suck, like I, I write like I never went to school, right? Um, am I great at all these things, email marketing? Not really, I'm okay. But one thing I'm good at is being able to find information using Google in a unique way. Where most people would search and give up, I'm able to do that. That's the one skill that I'm like, I'm glad I got that because everything else I'm not that great at. So if you could learn how to search Google the right way, and again, look for that video, it was a live stream I believe, where we talked about it. And we were talking about you know, how to use search uh, colon with a website and then a query, how to use quotes. And I think it was, yeah, it was the one about the, the Google, Google search shortcuts, this one here, right? Make money with these Google shortcuts. So you can watch this video, it's on my blog, um, and it shows you the different shortcuts and these are what made me money. Now, I'm gonna tell you, well, let me show you. There, you do it off screen. Okay, it's right here. So you go to affiliatemarketingdude.com and it's right over here, uh, the Google search hacks. You can watch the video right like this and then it's got the different search um, things here. Now, when you pair this, right, because searching Google with the little Google hacks is cute and wonderful and great, but when we pair this with AI, it gets ridiculous. It gets into the level of like, oh my gosh, I can make so much money, it's not even funny. Like this is, this is next level stuff and this is what people don't get. I can use AI to learn something extremely fast. I can use AI to literally watch a thousand YouTube videos and get notes from them without even watching them. It'll just go get the notes. It's something that I did um, last night for this, right? I was going out there and um, 
I had my outsourcers do the same thing because I'm training people to do this as well. We have a team here that, that builds content. And we can see here, um, we went through like Google versus blogging and we were looking at the notes. And you can see at a glance, AI when used properly is absurdly powerful. Like watch this, I literally put in the notes, the transcript, which is free, into ChatGPT and then it's going to spit out some notes for me once we get to the end here. There we go. Um, and it says, here's the notes, right? And it'll parse it in a way that makes sense. Now, one of the things that people also don't get is when you're doing a session with AI, I can give it the notes and then I could say, well, now what did you think about the last 10 videos? What did you learn? And this is something extremely important. And this is something where if you don't learn this, you will get left behind. But we could see here, okay, it's got the notes here. And then I did the second one. Let's use this scroll bar here. All right, I got the second one here. It did these notes, okay? Talked about Google lawsuit and different things like that where um, they revealed different search things that they, they the criteria, right? And then we're like, okay, here's video three. And then it did that. And then once this is all loaded into a session, what are, and then I could say, based on this, what are some concerns for AI, the future of finance? Okay, and this will go through and it'll talk about, hey, this is how this is gonna work. And what people don't get is when using AI, a lot of people, Let's, let, let's have a little talk here. Come on in, let's talk to your old buddy Marcus here. Years ago in 20, 2008, 2009, um, a lot of people in the industry were talking about this thing called outsourcing. And they were like, hey, you know, you can go get employees from other countries to work for you extremely cheap because of the exchange rate and the amount of money and what it costs to live in different places. And so everyone got hyped up on it. It was the, the four hour work week, you know, kind of revolutionized this and everyone got obsessed with it. And I had a lot of friends in the industry that were like, yes, hey, you know, outsourcing is the key. But the problem was is that most people were looking at outsourcing as I'm gonna hire these people and they're going to make me rich. And, and they would hire people, and they'd wonder why these people aren't making them rich, right? I mean, I'm paying them money. I pay them $100 a week or whatever it is, and you know, you can get them uh, that inexpensive in some, in some areas, but why are they not making me rich? I mean, you would think Amazon has a bazillion employees. That's why they're rich, quote unquote, and that's not why they're rich. They're not rich because they have a bunch of employees. If you opened up a shop and you got two million employees, the only thing you would have is a giant big payroll bill, that's what you'd have. So all these people were looking at outsourcing in a way of I'm gonna hire people to make me rich and they didn't really know the tasks to give them that would in fact make that happen. And the same thing's happening with AI. People don't know how to use it. AI right now can and is making lots of people lots of money. I'm about, I, we've already passed our best year ever this year because of AI. And it wasn't even like a small pass, it was a big pass. And I can't stress to you enough the value of what you have. Like, we think about it, and a lot of people think it's this cute thing that's gonna somehow create articles. No. That's not what it's about. You're missing the point. If, if that's what you think, you're thinking like the people that probably hired a bunch of outsourcers and didn't make anything because they didn't know the power of what they had. Like it's human resources, using people's resources and using people's time to be able to make money. And when you understand this, things start to change. There needs to be a shift in your brain and it needs to happen now. How many of you guys are feeling it? And you're like, okay, I'm starting to get it. I'm st this is making sense. It's like all the gurus talk about mindset and they're talking about sitting on a mountain and singing Kumbaya and manifesting money. All right, great, fine, wonderful. 
When you have enough people following a certain thing, there's going to be proof that it works just because of the sheer numbers. Right? If everyone tries to manifest something, someone's going to get something naturally. Right? If everyone who plays the lottery is a manifester, the one guy who wins is going to say, look, it works. No. Doesn't matter if manifesting was around or not. There's one lottery winner for every winning ticket. Right? That's just a fact. And a lot of people are looking at this and they're talking about mindset the wrong way. I will tell you, there are billionaires that have shitty mindsets. There are. There's millionaires that have crappy mindsets. They're, some of the people you're like, wow, that guy's greedy and miserable and I thought the law of attraction stuff was where it's at. It's not where it's at. What it's about is understanding what you have because you can manifest till you're blue in the face. You can wish and want and desire till you're blue in the face. But if you get all that out of the way and you say, wait a minute, this tool, this stupid chat GPT for 20 silly dollars a month can make me rich if I shift my mind in that way. Stop trying to manifest and start learning how this is going to help you. Because right here, right now, you have the ability to get information so fast, it's not even funny. This is like if the internet was this big of a cable, all right, AI is like my entire house, <laughs> right? And when we think about it, you have to look at how Arturo says in order to make money, you have to spend money. That is a myth. You do not need to spend money to make money. Case in point, when I was about seven years old or 11 or something like that, it's hard to tell because when I was 11, I looked like I was seven. Hopefully now I don't look like I'm my age. I don't know. You could be the judge of that. But when I was about 11 years old, I wanted a new skateboard. And skateboards were expensive to an 11 year old. I mean, it was like the ones that we wanted were like, the fancy ones. It was like 150 bucks and I didn't have 150 bucks. I didn't even have money to do anything. And so what I did is I got a, a jug of soap and I went around to the neighbors and I was like, how many of you guys would like me to wash your car? And I went and washed cars and we learned, hey, if we did good and we were nice to the people, they would tip us more than we even charged. And we were able to make about a hundred and, I think we made $170 each, which was more than the skateboards. And it was me and my brother in about a week. Didn't cost me anything. We had the soap already, right? And if you're watching this, we have to look at this and say, hey, wait a minute. I can use what I have right now. Marcus, I can't afford $20 on ChatGPT. Fine, go over to, to MSN and ladies and gentlemen, I just, all right, we got the dramatic zoom in. Ladies and gentlemen, I just found a tool we're gonna have on the channel that does this with PDFs. But I, I was messing around with it here as well. Um, and what happens is you can use the Bard AI tool for free. I can go here and it can do all the notes and it can research and it could do pretty much anything. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. And it's more powerful than anything in history in terms of finding and parsing information. So let me, let me get this straight. You have access to the internet, okay? Fact, you might not have money. A lot of people say it takes money to make money. Those people are trying to sell you courses. That's, that's where that line came from, right? There's a lot of sales jargons and lines that are basically hidden versions of, yeah, come buy my stuff. All right, but I'm gonna tell you like it is because I know that people want information, they want it straight up, and if I give it to you straight up, those of you who want to work with me will come find me, right? You'll be like, okay, I'm gonna find your website, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna make this work, all right? And those that have money will pay for it and they will work for me, or work with me. And, and so we're gonna look at that and be like, okay, very important, but right now, you have the ability to use this and make money. There are so many ways to make money with AI, it's not even funny. It doesn't cost anything, it doesn't take a lot of effort, you just go use it. And the way you're gonna use it is in a very, very specific way. Okay, we can't get sidetracked. You're gonna be, you're gonna be tempted to be sidetracked. How many of you guys in 2023, you're like, dude, I was sidetracked. I, I did not know 
what was going on and you know, how many of you guys made nothing? Right? How many of you guys are like, I made nothing? Okay. It sucks, but that's a fact. Why did you make nothing? Because you got sidetracked. You got sidetracked and you didn't realize that it was about this stuff. It's about diversifying. And it's about understanding what's going on. Right? Like, there's so many ways to make money, it's not even funny, and they're here on this channel. Smash the like button, subscribe, and, and watch those. Now, the last thing we're going to look at before we get into the real world nitty gritty of how to survive this change and how to thrive is going to be domains. Now, early in 2021, I started getting back into uh, domain buying. And lo and behold, one day, I get this call on my cell phone, and no one ever calls my cell phone because I don't even know what the number is, right? Like, my family texts me, and that's about it. I'm not a big cell phone person. And I get this call on my cell phone, and it says GoDaddy. And I'm like, wait a minute, why is GoDaddy calling me? And this guy calls me from GoDaddy, and he's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, I'm doing all right. How you doing? Why are you calling? He's like, well, I just wanted to reach out to you because you're one of our top domain buyers. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm in an office in my backyard. Did you, did you know that? He's like, yeah. Yeah, you're one of our top buyers. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, cool. But I got into domain buying because domain buying is really powerful. And when you pa pair domain buying with AI, you get something unstoppable. Because a lot of people right now, they're freaking out about the Google, well, back in the old days, we called it the Google slap, right? Google would come on and whack, hey buddy, you need to clean up your act or we're not gonna rank you on the old search engines. And now in 2023 and 2024, we are seeing this as well. Now what Google says they do like is authority. We like authority. We like people who know what they're talking about. That's what we want, right? Which translate, they want things other people want to look at. Because all of this hinges on, bear with me, this. If you stop using Google, they're gonna change the way that they serve results. Why? Because they want you to use Google. If you stop watching things on YouTube, they're gonna change to adapt to you because you are the king, right? When they say the customer is always right, in this instance, yes, it is, okay? In other instances, not really. I've worked customer support and sometimes some customers are not right. But at any rate, what you're gonna look at here is Google has an algorithm and if we can keep people on our websites and our blogs, it'll work. And if we can get a domain to jumpstart the process, bada boom, bada bang. And a lot of people, they watch my channel and they say, Marcus, I need some proof. You need to prove to me it works. One guy this morning literally was like, you need to send me money or I don't believe you. And I'm like, wait a minute, that, that sounds a little weird. Like, so now we gotta give away money to get people, I mean, I thought giving away knowledge on how to make money was good, but what are you gonna do, right? And so we look at this and we're like, okay, when we focus, it has to do with giving it what it wants. And we're gonna show you some proof here because when AI started, and the whole point of my domain tirade there is the fact that I actually did a video live. Uh, let me see where I could find it. It was something about like emojis. Let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Affiliate marketing dude. All right, you can always search the old affiliate marketing dude there and you will find me. All right, there I am right there. But we did a, a, a live video a couple of months ago about the smiley face niche, okay? And I sold this website to a student of mine and he's, he's doing phenomenal with it. Um, and we set the site up live. It was one of these like right around here somewhere, 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 somewhere. And we bought the domain and we actually set it up live and we were showing how to do, it was a smiley face domain. Where did it go? Mugs is like right around here. This one, do, 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 do. instant traffic, this one here. Um, and what we did is we talked about um, getting instant traffic with AI and we built this site. Oh, we're zoomed in again. I'm gigantic. All right, here we go. We will fix this. Come on, zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out, there we go. 
All right. I don't know which hand command makes it zoom in, but at any rate. So we had this video here, and uh, we did a ranking. And, and, and so with this one, um, a lot of people got hammered with the Google algorithm change, right? We saw uh, like Outlook India, which was a big news site. They got tanked. Outlook India. And we cover this stuff all the time. If you're new, smash the like button, subscribe. Look at this. They lost half of their traffic in six months. Half. That means like if they were, so they were making, they had an estimated $7 million a month worth of free traffic, and it went down to 3.7. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying, well, I'd like 3.7 million. Yeah, you know, that'd be nice. Making $50 million a year would be pretty cool. But for this company, they lost it overnight. All right. Now, with me, we're going to see mojiedit.com, which actually gained. Look at this. This site, ladies and gentlemen, was set up live on this channel, live, right in front of you. I was like, hey, here I am buying the domain. I bought the domain, it cost me $2,000. I've done this with $10 domains, so calm down if you don't got two grand, it's okay. And watch my videos on domain buying. They are going to be so important for 2024. It's going to be crazy. So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, um, 11, thousand keywords, 30,000 visits gaining, right? Other ones we did, um, I don't know how our SUV one's done. I, I know we transferred it, new SUV, um, and this one had some new SUV.org, that was it. Um, it's gaining a little bit. Now, the value here is a little subjective. I don't think the person has worked on it much since we transferred it, um, but it does rank. It's actually climbing in rankings. This one was like a number 10 or whatever. And when we look at this, it's like, okay, pay attention. This and the emoji site. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in. Let's, let's have a chat here. 100% AI content. 100%. This one here, best SUVs for visibility, 200 searches a month. We look over here and we have a new SUV. I think we're right around here. There we are right there. Okay, so what we're doing is we're tackling things that are working and since we know Google makes hundreds of billions of dollars because of search rankings, well then I think, well, correct me if I'm wrong, if I had search engine rankings, I would probably make some money. What, what do you guys think? You guys, uh, hey, that hair light camera is doing its job pretty good. But how many of you guys are like, wait a minute, that totally makes sense. I get it, and all I would need to do is focus on keywords that get traffic. Luxury, midsize SUV, I'm ranking number 23. Okay, or whoever owns the blog now, I did sell it. Right, and we look at this and we're like, hey, that's looking pretty good. Now, some things did tank. Actually, my own personal affiliate marketing dude website, the traffic totally tanked. But that's not my main traffic source because if you look at it, the traffic overall to the website didn't tank because I'm doing, like I said, diversifying. And we need to understand, there we go, it zoomed in on me again. Let's, let's see if we get these right. We need to understand that diversification is key. I think there's like a, Let's see, does that follow me? Something. If it's blinking, it's doing something, I don't know. Um, but what we're doing is we're looking at the fact that we need to uh, diversify. Now, uh, excellent question. Let's, let's take some questions. You guys want to do Q&A? Let's do some Q&A. Let's talk about, hey, what are your questions and concerns about AI in 2024, the financial crash that could be happening because of AI, the job loss. What are you guys' questions? Throw them at me. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Let's, let's dive in and, and talk about this because when we look at, okay, why did Outlook India uh, lose traffic? Outlook India was a press release website and it was a popular press release website that people would just go put press releases up on and it wouldn't necessarily be relevant to what people were searching for. Google rewards relevant and about the topic, right? If people search, we want good info. Like if they're searching for what are the best SUVs with visibility and I give them SUVs are cool, they have bad visibility, click here to get an SUV loan, people are gonna be like, wait, what? 
that don't make any sense. I, don't, I didn't come here for a loan. I wanted SUVs with the best visibility. And I know from experience, I'm not that tall of a person and I have an SUV that has crazy blind spots and it's difficult. I wish I would have had an article back then before we got it. But you know, at any rate, we'll probably get something else down the road. But I do like my van that was made for men of my stature. And so we look at this and we're like, okay, um, they lost keywords. Why? Because it's not relevant. And look at the drastic decline, 12 million value down to three, it's a fourth of what it was. Why junk content? I'll tell you right now, one of the big caveats for this was the fake reports on ClickBank supplements. Right, they were like, here's all these reviews and whatever um, about ClickBank supplements. Now, a lot of people are saying, what evidence do you have that AI is causing folks to lose their job? Well, here, um, I'm doing the work. I have about, we have like five people on staff here in the US and about 10 um, outsourcers. And the 10 outsourcers are getting the job done that would have taken about, I'm gonna say about 100 before. Now using AI, I don't have to have 100, okay? Same thing here, like you're gonna see a lot of data stuff, a lot of mundane tasks, people who make money with Excel sheets and taxes and things like that. The, the facts are, if you look at these news reports by these people, um, AI will be at the center, says SEC chair. So you can listen to me or, or you can listen to the guy that apparently uh, America trusts with financial advice. Uh, again, take everything with a grain of salt and, and only make financial decisions based on your stuff. And I, I would also venture to say, you know, don't, like, look at things objectively. With me, even when I'm buying domain names, I'm very, very keen that I need to know I can get my money back now. So when I spent two grand on that domain name, I'm like, okay, what are the odds I could sell it for two grand? And it was 100%. I'm like, okay, I'm buying it for two grand at auction, which means like the guy below me was willing to pay 1999, which, okay, so I know I could at least sell it for that. And also looking at the value of it, because when you look at something like Moji Edit, okay, you're gonna see why did it work? Well, because of the backlinks that were important, like WikiHow, talks about the eggplant emoji, uh, sparkle emoji. So what we're doing is we're building this up, right? We're building this up in a very, very simple way. Uh, let's see, Timon, Timochi, what? Uh, oh, you're talking about, um, yeah, you're talking about the uh, Outlook India. Yeah, it was a Parasite SEO. Parasite SEO is what is explained as trying to rank just for the purpose of ranking and not providing value. We want to provide value, so when I go through and we're looking at like, okay, the thinking emoji, okay, is this about the thinking emoji? Yeah, it is, okay? Um, is, is other stuff about other things? And we start to look at that and start to understand, okay, that's what we want to do. Now, when I buy domains, there's lots of, of videos I have here on buying and selling domains, which again, it's going to be huge in 2024, just like it was last year. I made a fortune um, over, the last, over a long time buying domains. And what I'm doing is I'm usually looking at the GoDaddy auctions, the Namecheap auctions, the expired ones. Like I can go and I can look at, okay, I want domains for like nine bucks. Go to um, this here, scrapbookwarehouse.net and get that for nine bucks. Um, all these other ones, right? And Auction Riot, yeah, I could probably sell that for more than 10 bucks. Classifieds, um, different things like that. Or I can go to GoDaddy where they cost a little bit more. Uh, Spamzilla is not free. Um, you can look up expired and auction domains. Like, I mean, you can go to Google Auctions. I think auctions.google.com will show you the auctions. Um, and then you can put those in a free keyword tool. It does take longer, like having a program like this, which um, you know, I have some instructions for this on my website as well. But this will help you buy domains and understand, okay, well, what, what do I want? What can I use? Um, and, and what has rankings and what has backlinks, right? And you could do this by backlinks, rankings, um, all kinds of things, traffic. You could see which have the most traffic. And it's like, okay, so I could take a look at these and see what's out there, okay? Some of them I buy, some of them I don't, but I can build these up in a simple way because what it's doing is it's really 
piggybacking on something that already has authority. Um, affiliate says, if all the bloggers give up, there would be an avalanche of available domains. That's what's gonna happen, right? Like, whenever there's a crash, people ditch their domains. And I buy them, right? That's what we do. It's kind of like uh, buying businesses that, that uh, struggle because they don't know what they're doing. Like the, a couple months ago, there was a uh, ice cream store that went out of business and we liked their ice cream, it was good. And um, you know, I, I, my wife told me, she's like, hey, they went out of business. I was like, well, that's a bummer. I wish they would have called me because I know how to make those businesses survive and thrive. And it all has to do with marketing. And I remember, you know, I got into this talk with my family and I'm like, you know, it's all marketing. They're like, no, it's, it's the quality of the, the ice cream and the product. I'm like, no, it's not. As much as I think we should have good products and good quality, it's all marketing. Right, case in point, McDonald's is the most successful restaurant in history. You think it's about food quality? It ain't about food quality. It's about their marketing. They had clowns and stuff that made our parents buy it when we were kids and it associated the memories and now it makes billions of dollars and it's just like a big strain on the health industry. But we look at it and we're like, okay, it is about marketing and if you learn the skill of marketing and you pair it with AI, you are unstoppable if you know what you're doing. Um, Meloton, I'm trying to locate about Facebook memes you had two guests on. Uh, yeah, so we deleted some of those. We do have, I am still working on that with Leonard, um, probably after the first of the year. I, I've gotten so busy, I haven't contacted the poor guy about doing it, um, but that's at memeprofits.com. Um, Let's see, what are some ways someone new to learning AI can start learning and profiting? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. How many of you guys wanna learn a simple way to profit with AI? Have McDonald's is a real estate business. Yes and no. Like, they do own the real estate under it, but most of their money is made in different ways. Do they hold a lot of real estate? Yes, but without marketing, they'd have nothing. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this. So if you were to go to ChatGPT and you start new, or you could do this with, with Bing. ChatGPT is gonna be better because it has a longer um, longer memory. Like I can keep a ChatGPT going for hours. Bing is gonna time out after like 30, okay? So what I can do here is I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do something important. Okay, you wanna make money with AI. I'm gonna give you one word. And we're gonna put the one word on the board. So we gotta go over to the board here. All right, what we're gonna do is we are going to get our pen because our board is useless without the pen, right? And I'm gonna write this word down, which is super important. Curious. We are going to remain curious. This is super, super important. If you don't remain curious, you're gonna be out of business, probably, most likely. And what I mean by that is like, okay, when things happened and restaurant industries got crashed like two or three years ago, the workout companies, I remember we, were, we went to a gym and they didn't adapt and now they're out of business. I mean, you think about it, like the ice cream guy, dude probably sunk his life savings into that place. Marketing could have saved him, but he wasn't curious enough to learn marketing. The skill of marketing will always beat the skill of making good ice cream. The skill of marketing will always beat the skill of restaurants. Case in point, Applebee's has commercials all the time and I watch their commercials and I'm like, who took pictures of that food? Because that's the one I would have thrown out. That's my own personal preference. Not a fan of the food. But again, they're making lots of money, I'm not. Can I cook better than them? I like to think I can. But when we look at it, it comes down to marketing and we need to understand that. So now when we come here, we're gonna be curious. What are some ways I can make money helping local businesses with AI? Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You are going to practice. Practice makes perfect. They say that to be a master of a craft, you need about 2,000 hours practice. Now luckily we can make money as we're going along, but if you wanna get good at this, use it. I have used AI more than I'd care to admit. I've worked more this year than I've ever worked before. I've also made a lot of money, but we need to understand I'm going to be curious. I'm gonna learn. What are some ways I can make money helping local businesses? Okay, customized marketing strategies, inventory management, 
So we're gonna look at this and I'm gonna be curious about this, okay? Uh, I'm gonna say now, please expand on part one, like this, okay? Always say please and thank you because if Terminator tells us anything, we want to be nice to the robots. I, I learned that growing up in the 80s. Be nice to the robots. Just trust me on that, right? Exactly, like uh, Jose says, Ben and Jerry's was all about marketing. All right, and the AI cameraman is now, he's following us around. Let's see how good he does. Let's see, he follows us around. Here we are over here. There's my desk over there somewhere. And I can walk over here and I think it follows me too. But it looks pretty cool. Right? Uh, AI is pretty much everywhere. It's in the camera. It's everywhere. I don't know how to make it stop tracking. There, I think, is that? Cool, all right. But pretty cool stuff. Um, and so we're looking at it and we're like, okay, now I can say now please expand on part one. It'll expand on it for me, all right, like this. And by the way, while you're waiting, smash that like button, let other people know that this is where the good stuff is. Okay, Osmo3, um, OBSBOT, OBS bot, AI, something like that. Good camera, I, I got one for that computer and then I instantly went and got three more because they're just, they're fantastic. They're really clear, which is what I wanted. My other OBSBOT was not that clear, right? And by the way, there's a guy reviewing these, right? If you go out there and you're like, OBS bot, Tiny 2, I think that's what it's called, a Tiny 2. Um, and there's people reviewing them and selling them. I mean, look at that, 157,000 views, 20,000, on and on we go. And reviewing products. Again, first-hand experience is going to win. Right? That's what's gonna win when it comes to um, ranking. Right? And we look at it, what is Google saying? They're saying video first-hand experience is it. Like, could you go and buy a couple of OBSBOT cameras for 300 bucks each and make videos on them and run it? This reminds me, let's have another story. You guys want story time? Type story time if you're liking story time. We'll have another story. All right, back in the old days, when I used to be a preacher, uh, there was this buddy who I preached with. The guy ended up being like not a nice guy. Uh, but, you know, to each his own. And this guy, um, he made good money before he became a preacher reviewing products for the uh, UL listing, right? So, like, if you have an electronic device, and let me see if I have one here, there's, like, a UL listing on them, which says, basically, this thing is safe for people to use, right? So, like, I think this one, I think that's what that EL is, right there, um, and so what happened is, is he would test them, and, and I'd go to his lab, and it was, it was fun, right? I liked hanging out with him when he was working because we would go, and basically you'd take this camera, and you would you know, put it in hot water. You'd drop it off a, off a stool. You'd do all kinds of things to see if it would withstand what kind of damage you, it went through. Obviously, make sure you do this in a safe way and know what you're doing. Um, but, you know, you can do the same thing with the camera. Like, we could go through and test it out, much like I did today. Plug it in, test it out, see how it works. And you can see people are doing this here. And that's what that guy did, and he was doing it for the UL listing. But we can do the same kind of thing where we're testing a product in a really, really easy way. Exactly, Underwriter uh, Labs. And, you know, it was something that worked and it was, it was fun to watch, like, wow, this is worth money. This is worth money testing these products and making it work. And this is the kind of thing you can do here, right? Like, you can go, and even if you have no money, you know, take the last thing you bought on Amazon, review it, go put the video on Amazon. You will get paid when the thing sells. It's insane. They literally pay you to review a product on Amazon. You get the traffic from Amazon. They host the video on Amazon, and you get paid when they buy it. It's so simple. And now, will you make a ton of money? I don't know. I mean, I have some friends. I think one friend was doing like 6K a month with that. Again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. But there are so many ways to make money. And can you do this with AI? Well, yeah, I probably could. OK, so back to our, our test here. We can learn about this stuff, right? So here we go. Now I can go through and say, OK, cool. Um, let's do expand on great. 
if I wanted to do, what would that look like as a business? Right? And so I could go and say, okay, well, maybe I'll create emails or content for businesses. Right now, um, we made a good amount of money this year. We actually had to shut it off because it was so popular, my AI content business. And we're turning it on right now as we speak. Um, but it, it, it was so popular because people want content and strategy, and this is telling us how to do it. So what you would do is you would go through and allow AI to help you in a simple way. And if you guys wanna stay on top of this, check out blogprofitnetwork.com. It's literally like 100 bucks and then $37 a month. And we have calls every week. I have like a bunch of AI tools in there. We got plugins. You can ask questions. We're there to help you. You can watch all the replays of all the calls which is pretty much like the biggest course ever if you want, and all kinds of good stuff, but it's, it's a, a community where we're helping each other. And when we look at this, okay, here's our business structure. We can even go in and say, okay, I want to make review videos on webcam that, fall, that track your face. What are some top cameras, okay? Again, AI is gonna do this. I don't have to do the research. I literally sit back, have tea, and here we go. Joey says, what is the best way to find gaps in a saturated, lucrative market using AI? It's going to be helping, helping them. Uh, Heather says, I look spiffy today, thank you. I found this in the closet. I don't know if it's mine. Might have just been a random one. I think it might be an older jacket, but I was like, hey, you know, what better way to look serious than having this there and we got our our fancy little like button right there and this surprisingly this was on the fridge when I when I got this house as my office I was like hey that's kind of cool pretty cool um, spiritual says where do we find the replays for the BPN calls so last night's will be posted like later today it usually takes about 24 hours for it to be posted but they're right where you post your questions in the forum uh, which is cool okay so really cool stuff now what we see is this is doing the work here, okay? It actually found Obspot, which is cool. So watch what happens. We're gonna get a, a business plan from this. It's literally insane, it's so easy. All right, one second. So now we have these, give me one second. So now we have all the different cameras here, and now all I need to do is say, okay, now with these cameras. So, I mean, theoretically, like people spend thousands of dollars on crazy, gigantic courses, and they don't spend anything on, on stuff that really works. That's why with me, with our high ticket niches and with our domains, we're selling you something of value. Okay, I give you training too, but we're giving you something of value. So like, forget about a guru course, you could go out there and buy these webcams for probably, let's say they're 100 to 300 each. So that'd be like two grand, okay? Most people would just spend two grand on a guru course with the hope that maybe it'll teach them something or a thousand or whatever, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna buy the products, that way I have something to use. Now I could say, now outline a process I could use to rigorously test a camera to make a good review blog article and video. Okay, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do blog article and video. We wanna double, double, um, double end it. Okay, so now we have this. Unboxing, set up an installation, image and video quality testing. There's your map. Like, there you go. Now, will you rank number one on Google with your first video? Probably not. But what if you also paired this with a domain about webcams? Well, hey, wait a minute, that would make us even bigger. Or what if we went through and took each of these? Okay, so now we got Obspot, OBS Spot. I, I don't know how you say that, it's a weird one. But we could see here, if I wanted traffic from this, Obspot, 
uh, 1,500 searches a month, 6,400 global. Let's try OBS bot. I'm sure a lot of people probably spell that wrong. Okay, or uh, tracking webcam. Okay, webcam tracking. Uh, best webcam for streaming. Best webcam, so here we have for Zoom meetings. Very specific stuff, right? And, and here we have our map. This is gonna do the job of teaching us what to do. We put it together, bada bing, bada boom, there we go. How many of you guys are looking at this and you're like, okay, I didn't think about that before. That totally makes sense. Uh, how did the call with GoDaddy end up? Did you purchase the domain he offered you? No, he didn't. He actually uh, just wanted to introduce himself as my rep. Uh, nice guy, he helps me out with all kinds. I actually have to call him today, I think. Um, I use free chat GPT and free Bing AI. Yes, you can use free tools. If you know how to use the tools, it's key. It's much like this. Let's have another story, all right? Come on in, let's have another story here. If I was out there and I had something like this and I was like, hey, I got this tool and I barely know how to use it. I was able to put the blue light up back there. So I, I am getting better at using the old tools. But if I know how to use that tool, I can get the right stuff and I could build something of value, right? Case in point, um, let, me, let me show you guys something. This is pretty cool. I think it was um, Tiki Bar uh, do, 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 Etsy, okay? This will blow your mind. I am probably the world's most terrible wood crafting person. However, I did build all the furniture that is here, not all of it, but a lot of the furniture that is here in the office. So like right over here, let's see, I think I got to switch over here. There is a point, trust me. So right over here, I built this desk right there, okay? And we have another one over here. We got lots of money on the ground too. But we had that desk and I built that. And one day I was actually looking on Etsy over here and I found out that there is a huge business of people building tiki bars. And now again, I wanna point out to you that I am in fact the world's worst wood crafting person, okay? And so here, I can actually make these because this is how I make them. You get two by fours and you make them. And when you look at this, 20 views in the last 24 hours, you look at how they're built and they are literally super, super simple to build. Like, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And the fact is, all I need is to know how to use this. It's all put together with this. I don't, I mean, if you don't have saws and stuff, Home Depot will do all that for you. If you're nice enough and you give them a tip, sometimes they'll help you out with that. Or you could get a saw and learn how to use that too. And so what we're looking at is, wait a minute, I can do that. If I knew how to use the tool, that would work. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see here, they're using a tool and probably 50 bucks worth of wood to make 400 bucks. And you see they got tons of them, like they ship them all the time. 778 sales times that by 500 bucks, that's some good cash, right? Now, how does he do it? He's got a tool, he's got the things, he does a good job. Right here, you have a tool with ChatGPT. If you know how to use the tool, which is free, you could build something that will make money. Does everyone get that? Smash the like button and let me know if you guys get that. Super, super important. If you get it, things are about to change. Uh, Hothead says, what does this have to do with the 2024 and AI causing a crash? Well, you're coming in a little late. Probably watch at the beginning we talked about that. What we're talking about now is how to actually profit in 2024 with the changes that are happening. Very important, right? And so now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, I can build some. Now Jeff says, imagine the shipping charges. Okay, great, so let me let, me let you in on a secret. I actually have a business over at contentprofitstrategy.com. And what we do is we create human-directed AI content with a profit strategy. So. Let me show you how I'm using this, okay? A lot of people are like, well, Marcus, do you practice what you preach? All the time, I've been doing this for a long time. What we do is we take some. So you'd come to me and you'd say, here's a ClickBank offer, I wanna promote it. And you say, I want 25 content or 50. What we do is we go through and we structure it 
and find what kind of content is going to help you sell, okay? So I'll go through and I'll be like, okay, here's the content. If you put this together with the keyword searches, it'll work, okay? Very cool. I want to get that question real quick. But now we look at it and we build that. Now what we're doing, there are no shipping charges because it's all delivered via email and websites, right? I'm able to create 50 pieces of content. The profit margin is ridiculous because a lot of it is just legwork, right? Much like blogging and stuff back in the day. A lot of it's just the, the mindset work, just like building the, the tables, okay? Those have a big shipping charge, but this, it, it's mostly labor, right? Like when you go and you get your car fixed, it's like, well, this part was $2 and to have them put it in was like four grand. All right, the having them put it in didn't cost that much. Like he, he learned it, but once he learned it, it's over. So once you learn to create stuff that people want with AI, now you can start a business on it. And that's what we're doing here is we have a system where we go through and we create content to sell pretty much anything, whether it's you know TikTok videos, whether it's blog posts, whether it's social media, whatever it is, the skill that is worth the money is not content on paper. It's what the content on paper is used for. And this will change the way you think about making money. Because so many people think it's about the content, or it's about the actual wood in the tiki bar, or it's about the actual food. No, it's about marketing and the end result that you're giving someone, which is what they want. It's the old adage, nobody wants a drill, they want a hole in the wall. That's what they want. And if you understand that, things will change drastically. Andrew says, I understand your point about being curious and I understand how you use AI to draw out a conversation with AI, but when you say, if you think AI is only for articles, you're not getting it. Yes, so article marketing is basically glorified SEO. We're trying to make articles for SEO, okay? That's one tip of the iceberg. We can actually have AI help us think about a niche. We can have it extract different things to create content. For example, it extracted a lot of the stuff that we went over on this call. Super important. And so now we're looking at it in a different way. Okay, very, very important. Let's see here. Christmas marketing advice. We might have some, I'm not sure yet. If you want Christmas marketing advice, Etsy's a great place for that. Uh, TJ says, been trying to get into ClickBank. Is the membership of yours promoting ClickBank? It is not. Um, I mean, what we teach is how to promote anything. If you want to use it for ClickBank, that's fine. If you want to use it for your own product, that's fine too. How do you get clients to your content profit strategy product? I make webinars on how to make good content. Plain and simple, right? If you want um, people to come to your marketing, show them how it works. It's like the late Corey Rudel uh, said, educate, inform, and sell more. If I want people to buy my SUV, I'm gonna to talk to them about all the questions people have about SUVs, okay? So I could do, which SUV? Which SUV is best for this? Most reliable, should I buy? So now, I can go through and say, okay, which SUV is, is the most reliable? Talk about them. Oh, by the way, this one I want you to buy happens to be reliable, or this one here does this. If you if you teach and you look at things different, like what's the best way to sell this webcam? Well, the best way to sell the webcam is follow this, unbox it, show how it works. I have literally bought $2,000 camera equipments based on a YouTube video. And I'll never forget, uh, years ago when I first started doing YouTube, I'll tell you this story, this was a fun story. I first started doing YouTube and I was, you know, I got like what, 30 views a day or something. And um, I have live chat on my websites and this guy comes on live chat and he's like, I've been watching your YouTube videos and you know what you're talking about. I wanna, I wanna learn from you. And I'm like, okay, well here's our course. And he's like, well I don't wanna buy a course, I wanna learn from you. And so I'm like, okay, how do I, how do I nicely tell this guy I don't wanna, you know, I don't want to teach him one-on-one -on -one, because it's time consuming. And so I'm like, okay, I'll just say, hey, $20,000, I'll teach you in person for two days. And I'm figuring the guy's gonna be like, nope, I'm out, 20 grand, get out of here. The guy's like, send me your, your link. And he paid right there on the spot and I started to realize, so I made a video teaching something simple and a guy 
watched the video and wanted to buy something big. And I was like, wait a minute, okay, there's a light switch here where educating and helping people with content sells product. And it sells product unlike anything you've ever seen before. And when you look at this, this is where people get silly and they have ideas in their head about what works and what doesn't work. And they say, well, you know, Marcus, all your money is made from, from just ads. Well, no, that's about like 8%. The rest of it is other things. And when you understand that, okay, if you have a video about the Obspot camera, right, and you get 50,000 views, all right, maybe you'll make, you know, I don't know, a thousand bucks if you're lucky, maybe 500, maybe 200, I don't know. But the amount of cameras you'll sell is worth a lot. And this is key, because if you understand the flow, this is, this is what I'm all about. I'm all about the flow and the money. And when we looked at this earlier, and we talked about the value of SEO, right? We had talked about, okay, here's this plumber who pays $15 to get traffic on Google. But this is a huge industry. So what I'm looking at is how many Obspot cameras were sold from YouTube videos? And the answer is a crap ton, a lot of them. There have been businesses built on YouTube videos, on TikTok. There have been businesses that have been astronomically successful just by videos about the product. And when you start to understand that, it's like, oh, now I see that this is in fact the key to the kingdom, understanding how to sell this. And when we look at that, it's like there really is no limit. You just go out there and you do the stuff that's good based on data. We need to be focused on data, and that is going to be the key. Uh, yes, Bing is on Microsoft browser. You don't need ChatGPT. Just go to Bing Edge, I think is what it's called, and you can use that right away. Um, but yeah, these things are going to change, and we need to look at this in a real-world way and understand that a lot of money is going to be made, and if you're standing around like maybe you did for 2023, Maybe you stood around and you're like, well, I saw AI come and go, and some people got rich, but I didn't. And if you want that to change, smash the like button, subscribe, and watch the videos in the description. And if you want, join Blog Profit Network or HighTicketNiches.com, and we'll teach you how all this stuff works, which is very, very simple and straightforward. And when we start to look at that, it all adds up. And if you follow the path, and you do it long enough, and you do it right, and you look at the data, you can be successful. But again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But I think you're starting to understand that this can work in a real world way. So smash that like button, check out the videos in the description, and I'll see you.